Hi, I probably don't need to convince you very much that your video thumbnail is important. The fact is, many people decide if they're going to watch your video or not based on that pretty little picture called a YouTube thumbnail. So don't you wish you could upload your own custom YouTube thumbnail just like the YouTube partners do? You need a video thumbnail trick, kind of like having your own video thumbnails maker. Well, right now it is possible and we'll show you how, so keep watching. First off, we need you to know that this video thumbnail trick is what's called a YouTube hack. So it's not really supposed to work like it does, but it does right now. Chances are YouTube will fix it eventually and it won't work anymore. So please don't abuse this trick by putting in totally unrelated images as thumbnails. If enough people do that, then YouTube will kill this trick even sooner. Because of that, I'm leaving a space here in this video to add a special note to tell you what to do next in case it stops working. Nothing there? Well good, then it must still be working. Here comes an overview of the process, what's special about this particular tutorial, and finally the step-by-step -step guide you'll want to use to get your very own custom YouTube thumbnail. Feel free to skip ahead if you like. Here's the overview. First, you make your video and add the desired thumbnail image as a still image for a long time at the very end. Details about that come later. Second, you upload the video to YouTube and select the third thumbnail icon. Third, you edit the video in YouTube by trimming off the extra still image from the end of the video. Then save it and you're done. So what's so special about this particular tutorial, you ask? Well, this type of video thumbnail hack has been around quite a while, but it's got a new twist. The online editing part makes the length of the final video much more practical. This new twist was brought to my attention by a kid on YouTube named Justin. I'll put his channel name and a link to his tutorial in the description below. Check him out. I tested out Justin's and some other people's methods to make this thumbnail trick work, and it did pretty good overall. But... It didn't work everywhere online. Some parts of YouTube, some mobile apps for YouTube, or some social media sites just wouldn't show the proper thumbnail. Eventually, I figured out another modification which is working everywhere I could test online, including all parts of YouTube, YouTube mobile apps for tablets, and all the important social sites like Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. With this extra tweak, that's why this tutorial is the one for you. Now we get to the step-by-step -step guide on how to make your own custom YouTube thumbnail. Create your video the way you normally do, but also make a still image that looks like the thumbnail you want, like this. Add that still image to the very end of your video and make it last a long time. How long, you ask? Well, it should be about half the length again of your video before it was added. So, if your video without the still shot is one minute long, then make the still shot show 30 seconds in length. So the overall video is now one and a half minutes long. You want to get enough of the still shot there so YouTube makes it one of your three thumbnail choices. Next on to step two, upload this extra long video to YouTube. Once it's done uploading, you go into info and settings and set the privacy options to be private so all this messing around is not seen by everybody. Then look down at the thumbnail area. You'll see the middle thumbnail is always chosen by default. You want to choose the third thumbnail. This should be your custom thumbnail image. If you don't see it here, you didn't make your still image long enough and you need to go start over. Save your changes and go back to the video manager. In the video manager, you should see your new thumbnail image right away, but it's not changed yet for the video. That takes a while, but you don't need to wait to move on. Now on to step three, editing the video online inside YouTube. Now comes the trick or hack part. Using the drop down menu next to the video, choose enhancements. This lets you edit the video online inside YouTube. What we're going to do now is trim off the majority of the still image at the end of the video. Other tutorials using this technique will tell you to trim off all of the still shot, but I found that if you leave about one second still there at the very end, this thumbnail trick works everywhere properly. If the entire still image at the end is trimmed off, then the proper video thumbnail may not show up in certain places online. Click the Done button and then click the Save button up top. It then tells you that the trim edit you just made will not be seen right away. You'll have to wait until it's fully processed to see the shortened video. You've just done the big sneaky part of the trick. Now, step four. Go back in and make the video public once the online editing process is finished. Now this is very important. Do not edit the video anymore on YouTube. You can edit the info and settings all you want, but don't edit or enhance the actual video online 
or you'll lose all of your special thumbnail image work. That's part of the trick. That should do it. Congratulations. You can now make your own custom YouTube thumbnails. Hey, if you've got any questions on this, ask them in the comments below. If this helped you, please give us a thumbs up and good luck and have fun. See you around. Let's <laughs> go.